everyone. Welcome back to another Predestined, Predestined Kingdom Ministry or Ministries International videos. I'm Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. Welcome back. I already prayed and stuff. So I'm just going to go right into the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father, our mighty creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Yes, Lord. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Christianity, the Christianity Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Hallelujah. 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 In John 8, verse 12. An adulteress faces the light of the world. An adulteress faces the light of the world. John 8, verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Okay. Okay. In this story, a woman was just got caught in the act of, of cheating. She was an adulteress. All right. And so the Lord saved her life. During that time, the, the penalty for that was death. They would stone you to death. They would throw a bunch of stones. They would gather as a people and kill you together. And so the Lord God Jesus Christ was there that time and he saved her and he said, he who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. You know what the Lord was showing me? Every time he get ready to bless somebody or do something for somebody, you got people next to them. Well, God, you doing this for them. What about her? What about their daughter? If God could just finish doing what he doing with that one person before you could butt in and interrupt their blessing. Oh, my gosh. That was for somebody. Let him, he who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And so, my gosh, we have to surrender to the Lord and commit all our ways to him and trust in him, which is Psalm 37, verse five. So what parts of your life are off limits to God these days? What are you saying? Like, in what area of your life or somebody else's life that you're trying to control are you telling God how to be God? Are you telling him how to do his job? And so the Lord is just saying, surrender to him. Surrender to him because Christ is our true light. When we seek his light, what stumbling blocks will we avoid? You are... Thank you. 
We have to, to uh, blah, blah, blah. Trust in the Lord God and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Where was that? Mm. The Lord says money is the root of all evil. A lot of times, all of this stuff stem from an unknown or known root to you having towards money. In Hebrew 13 verse 5, it says, keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. Hebrews 13, verse 5. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you and never will I forsake you. And so us always trying to have control us always trying to have control instead of really just allowing the Lord to lead us and we follow. Those are creating stumbling blocks. And then you're blaming the person instead of you or the Lord. And another thing I saw, which was the last thing, when we surrender and we follow the Lord and we make him our light, your life is not supposed to be the same. When you encounter God, when you really encounter the Lord, you become a whole new person. You should be unrecognizable. You have just entered into Christ's light. So you're not supposed to be the same man or the woman that you were growing up. And it's not like you just forget your foundation. However, you become a new creation in the Lord. And so by you answering the call, that helps you out from getting into a danger, into traps, evil eyes, people just jealous, like they just, they upset that God is just in a yes season with you. The Lord will show you people chanting your name throughout the day, people trying to do witchcraft. You get to see this stuff. Because now you're a part of the light. And what does the light does? It brings everything that's in darkness. Now you can see it. Mm, my gosh. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what God does. That's what entering the light does. And so when this one mad that you could see that they doing witchcraft on you, when this one mad is, it's because you're in the light of Jesus Christ and he promised to never leave nor forsake you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so Proverbs 27 verse 12 says, a prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. This is the NLT version. The simpleton goes blindly on towards danger and suffers the consequences. Why? Because that person has not entered the light. You know what that person saying? F God. I don't need Jesus. I don't need all of that Bible. I don't need all of that church. 
and they go right to death. They go right into the death trap that they're trying to set for somebody else. The wicked has to fall into their own inequity and all the people in uprightness has to be judged. Hmm. My gosh. So when you have, when you have refused God's wisdom or you don't respond to his warnings, that's why you go through things you think you shouldn't be going through. Or stuff you thought you had defeated in the past. It's because somewhere along the line, you didn't take precaution and step into the light. But you told the light that it was darkness. You told the whole, you quenched the Holy Spirit. You blasphemed the Holy Spirit. You told God that the prophet that he called is not on your level, is not, should not be a prophet, but God himself is raised and called this person. Oh my gosh, Holy Spirit. And so the Lord said, that's why you're in the danger you're in now. That's why you're going through what you're going through now. You didn't, my sheep know my voice, but in that moment in time, you didn't. My gosh. And so the Lord is saying, how can you better yourself as a person from that character? He just showed you what you're doing wrong, what needs to correct. And so the question is, how can you learn to respond to God's warnings? How can you ask God to help you receive him? Ask him for spiritual discernment so you know that even if it's somebody 25 years younger than you and the Lord is speaking through that person that you know is him. My gosh, Holy Spirit, I gotta go. The prayer says, dear God, please help me to listen to you and turn away from danger. I would add to turn away from sinful people, from danger, from the ways of this world, from the workers of inequity. Help me not to be an evil person in Jesus Christ almighty name. And if you are into witchcraft, God says, repent, repent and confess your sins for being a witch, for working into the dark arts, dark witchcraft, dark magic, black magic, whatever have you not. Repent, says the Lord. Turn from your wicked ways. I pray you have a blessed day. Surrender to God. Shalom.